For many beginners, and even for people who have been sewing for a long time, it's quite a challenge to apply just the right amount of pressure on the foot pedal to get the exact speed that you're comfortable with and you need for sewing your fabric. Because your foot is not accustomed, it's not trained for making little delicate movements. Our feet are trained for walking, for running, for kicking. Our hands, our fingers are more suitable for making delicate movements. So I figured that what I should do is take the foot pedal and divide it into two separate units. One will be for activation and the other for speed control. One more big advantage that you get with this modified uh, foot pedal is stability of speed. You sew at a stable speed and the result is that you get more uniform stitches. When you change the speed constantly, when you have your foot on the foot pedal and it just sometimes you apply more pressure, sometimes you apply less pressure, the speed changes, then that affects the appearance of your stitches. And then some stitches might be longer, some shorter. Maybe you noticed that when I was sewing, I did not touch the speed controller. And the reason is, that I didn't need to touch the speed controller. It was set at the exact speed that is right for that kind of fabric, the leather, that I was sewing. Now, what would happen if I wanted to sew that leather more slowly? What would happen if I would reduce the speed? Well, if I reduced the speed, it would not sew the leather. Because here's the thing. When you decrease the speed, you also decrease the power, the force, the thrust with which the needle comes down to penetrate the leather. The needle would just not go through the leather if I decrease the speed. But if you, for example, want to sew a lighter material, a softer material like cotton or something like that, then you probably could reduce the speed and it would sew the fabric. So we can say that the thicker and denser the fabric, the more speed you need, the more force you need to sew it. I think that um, all or most sewing machine pedals are mechanically the same. Maybe the cover would be a little bit different in size, or maybe you wouldn't have 2.8 millimeter terminals. But you can check. You can open your foot pedal, take a look inside, and if it looks the same, then uh, there shouldn't be any problem. It should work. But I think that uh, beginners should not invest in, in such an expensive machine. I think that if you're a beginner, you should first star uh, start with a cheaper machine, learn about threads, learn about needles, learn about fabrics, do all your experimentation, do all your training, learn about yourself. Do you like sewing? Do you want to continue with it? Can you make money off of it? Can it become a major hobby for you? Get answers for all these questions before you buy something more expensive. I used a blind hem foot, a nylon bonded thread, size 69, and a Schmetz leather needle, size 18.
Yes, that's called the granny wheel. I invented it, I make it, and I sell it. So if you want one of those, you can go to my website, grannywheels.com, and buy one. I also sell them on Amazon and on Etsy. Right now, I make them for the Singer Heavy Duty, but I can also customize it for other sewing machines. Find links to all tools and materials shown in this video in the description below.